afternoon, Kylie Batucci, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator here in Australia with you. If this is your first time with me, then welcome. Love newbies. Uh, but I'm expecting a lot of returnees to jump in today, hopefully, because uh, I didn't go live here last week. I went live over on my training page. Uh, so hopefully everyone's like, oh, we've missed you so much. I had a bit of lippy on here. Okay, lippy's off. <laughs> I was just about to go live and then I'm like, oh, I haven't put any lippy on. So I had to quickly run and go put some lippy on. Hi, hi, good to see you everyone. Hello from Hobart. Hi, Tracy. So we had a wedding last night. Oh my goodness, we had so much fun. It was very unusual to have a wedding on a Monday night. Hi, Kathy, good to see you. Jess isn't here today. She's working hard somewhere else. She's probably at home watching television, actually. No. <laughs> she's, she's here. She's not actually here this week because she's doing a training course this week. So I'll miss her fun tomorrow. Hi. So good to see everyone. So, yeah, we, we completely tore up the dance floor last night. And uh, Brenna was very excited because the live band played Dancing Queen. So he was able to, yes, get on down to his favourite ABBA song. <laughs> so Bruno was MC last night. He did a very good job. He was very nervous, but he did an excellent job. Um, yeah, so we had an excellent night. Here's some mementos that we got that I thought all of you would love because we're all crafty people. Oh, actually, the other one, anyway, you'll get the idea. But this, is, this was the bonbonieri. And I love that it's so different. I'll just do a flip because I'm going to need to later on. Um, there we go. So that's it there. They've got Tamara and Lincoln. And then they've got the loose leaf tea. And then Lincoln loves uh, coffee. So his was the coffee. And I thought that was a really cool groovy idea. And I loved this sort of, you know, crumb cake look. They had uh, linen sort of napkins that match that as well. So they did a really nice job of doing something a little bit different, a bit quirky and not the usual. But I thought even if you wanted to, you could put chocolate in there. But I, I really love that it sort of represents both of them. So one tea, one coffee, which is always nice. Yeah, so very clever. We also got to take home, they had beautiful flowers along the middle in mason jars and gorgeous flowers. Hi Louise, good to see you. And we had flowers coming out and yeah, we took some of those home as well. So that was nice. And what I thought was really cute is Tamara's uh, maiden name is Tamara Mason and they were in mason jars. So super cute. <laughs> Last time she gets to be called Tamara Mason. Hi Randy, good on you. So yeah, you could do chocolates, you could do all sorts of different fun things, but I thought that was a really groovy idea that sort of matched their personality as well. So, and a nice little memento. So, very nice wedding. So, we have another one this Saturday as well. Fortunately, Bruno's not MC for this one, but it's a busy, busy week, as always, for us in the Batucci household. It never stops around here. <laughs> yeah, you could put Jägermeister in there if you're after a few shots. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> so I have a lot of rack cards to share with you because I didn't go live last week. Uh, it means that I have a bit of a backlog and I apologize for all those wonderful cards that you have sent me and I haven't been able to post pictures of in the Random Act of Kindness group. But I thought I would share some of these beautiful... I ended up doing a video last time so maybe I'll do a video again <laughs> just to show all all these beautiful cards. It seriously touches my heart so much when these cards come. It's like it's actually a little bit of a worry because when there isn't something in the mailbox, I'm like, oh, there's no mail today. I think I'm getting a bit accustomed to these beautiful random act of kindness. And even Bruno received one yesterday. He was so excited. He's like, oh, someone loves me. <laughs> and Jessie's been getting some and she just loves hers, um, especially when her grandma died. She just thought it was the best thing ever. And it really cheered up her spirits. So here are some of the gorgeous cards that I've received. So this one was from Jenny Hall using the new 
um, I think it's artistic, eclectic, eclectic impressions or eclectic, yeah, something like that. Anyway, you, most of you will know. This is always me new catalog time. I'm like guessing the na the names. <laughs> they really do. They always come at the best time. And it just cheers, it cheers you up. Oh, so eclectic. Thank you, Sarah. I, I love all, all of you that watch. You're like my backup. You're like my Rosie to... Who is it? Rosie and... Who's the other girl? The famous one. Rosie's the backup girl. <laughs> They're so cute, those two girls on Ellen. <laughs> And this one was from Kim Oliver. Yes, good. Thank you for tagging Jenny, Amanda. I was thrilled to get one from Jenny. This one was from Kim Oliver. Kim Oliver's in my team, the Crazy Crafters team. She's my level two, I think. Yeah, level two. And she sent this one to Bruno. So that was really cool. Yeah, Sophia Grace. That's it. Rosie and Sophia Grace. You're my backup girls. You're my Rosies. And um, I love how she's done a see-through. And then sort of the inside has the the actual pattern. So that was a really cool idea. Excellent, Kim. And this one here is from Mandy Sullivan. And this is in the UK. So this is Mandy's card. I love seeing that paper being used like this. It's just such a great way seeing it sort of broken up as well. And that amazing stamp set there. Well done, Amanda, or Mandy, I should say, sorry. She's stamped with paperpanda.co.uk. So that was really nice from Kent in the UK. And then I also got this one here a little while ago. I've been a bit slack, but this is Alyssa Ward. Is it Alyssa Ward? Yes. Oh, no, Alison Ward, sorry. I knew that seemed wrong. So Alison Ward from Barat. Barabba in New South Wales. And she's got random act of kindness, make a card, send a card. Did you see Sarah's make a card, send a card this morning? That was really cool. I think it's such a great thing that's happening. This whole, you know, not only making cards, but sending it. I think it's such a cool thing because it's fun. It's so much fun receiving them. And once I get all of these cards, so here's another gorgeous one here too. So this one was from Graciela, Graciela Carranza. And this is from, I'm pretty sure, is CA California? It's Venues, Venues CA. Um, that Daisy Bundle, holy moly, that's popular, that Daisy Bundle. It's been crazy how well it's going. So, and even using the stamp set on the inside, I love how... She's done that on the inside. So that was a really great one to receive. Hey, Laurie, good to see you. And we've got this one from Carrie Todd. I love, love, love our designer series paper. You all know that I love to love it, chop it. And um, Carrie was very cute. And she said, I just had to uh, Van Nuys, Van Nuys, Van Nuys, Van Nuys, Van Nuys. I'm so good with pronunciation. Not. <laughs> But yes, I love that Carrie um, did the Love It, Chop It. And TX, I'd say, is Texas. So that's where Carrie Todd's gorgeous card came from using the oh-so-eclectic DSP. And an amazing sentiment. Isn't that the perfect random act of kindness sentiment? Live every moment, laugh every day, love with all your heart. And isn't that true? If we could focus on that every day, we would be a much happier person, wouldn't we? Just keep loving people. Don't play games and chop each other down. Doesn't doesn't do any any favors for anyone, does it? <laughs> Kayla's here, excellent. And then this one was from Jen. This is so my colors, Jen. When I saw your card, I'm like, ah, oh, they're so the colors I adore. And I love the little. Can you see the little embossing strip at the the back there? It's such a cool little idea and just such a great way to embellish. You agree, do you, Laurie? Yeah, no games. Just love. Just be nice to one another. That's all we ask. Look after each other. And the more you give, I have seen it with the Random Act of Kindness group, but the more that you give to other people, the more you see come back to you. It's just such a nice thing that when you just open your heart and you share and you love, amazing things happen. Good things happen to you. 
Even if it doesn't come right away, it eventually does happen. Hi, Barbara. Good to see you. So this is from Angel Schaefer. And she was thanking me for the um, random, oh, the Aim for Alaska group, the training group that I have for demonstrators. She's really enjoyed it. And she's getting a lot out of the group. So that was very sweet to her to see her show appreciation as well and thank me for the group. Thank you, Angel. And this was from Melanie Sick Sicker, is it? Yes, yeah, Sicker. And this is from Ready, let's see me try and say this one. <laughs> Ready, I'll I'll ruin this one. Hammond Kleiner Boschlot. How did I go? Did I make it sound really professional? I'm guessing that's either the Netherlands or Germany. Where's Boschholt? Boschholt? B-O-C-H-O-L-T. Hi, Rosemary. Good to see you. <laughs> so, yes. She's from Stempelwelt.de. So, D-E, I am saying Germany. I'll go with Germany. But I love that card. I, this card... See, look at this. Look at this washi. Who uses their washi? Please make sure you use your washi. It's like the bomb, man. I just got a whole heap of washi just this week. And I am so excited about this new... <laughs> do you like that, do you? I just have to put on the accent. <laughs> but this washi is so pretty. And then we've got the, the black one as well. I literally just got these. So these will be getting opened. And I love using them on the back of our envelopes. Like when you're sending a card... You can put it like at the back and just stick down a bit of washi at the back um, and it can go with your card. And it's so cool even for decorating, decorating inside your card too. Um, it's great that there's so many different colours washi too. Yes, I do like that too, Sarah. I really like the colour little combo. But, you know, I never have enough washi. I think there should be like, you know, at least another 10 different patterns and shapes. And I just absolutely, absolutely love washi. So that's going to be really cool using those new ones. Now, there was a couple of other ones here too. That's just one pile of Random Act of Kindness. <laughs> I have shown these on the Random Act of Kindness group though. So these, this other pile, I've kept them both se separate. So, um, oh yes, that sounds like a good idea, Tina. I've seen the coolest things. Even if you go to Pinterest, Tina, and look up washy ideas. Oh my goodness, there's so many cool things. People like put it on their wall, like they've decorated the wall. I would love to do that eventually, put it on the wall, because it's easy to come off. But you can do, like, just use the strips, like as if it's strips of cardstock. Oh, I'm happy to hear that, Nori. Very happy. Um, you could use them, like, people put them on their um, keyboards. One of my girls, in fact, Rose Desmond, she did a, a weekly washi like ideas, washi technique ideas update and she said her posts went crazy because she did them on front of diaries and even in your beautiful new planner like it's so amazing using the washi in the planner that's why I got a whole heap more um, because I thought oh it's perfect in the planner I'll just like block out days and things like that I love that gasp, I spent a small fortune. Yeah, what a shock. I can't believe we spent a small fortune on an order with stamping up. <laughs> yes, light cover switches. Oh, I've seen them and they look so cool, Holly. There's like, honestly, washi is just the best. When you start realizing its potential, your whole craft room will get covered in washi. Like everything will have washi. Um, even for like labeling, like we've used the dots on our stamps, but if you used washi as a way to recognize, you know, what, what, um, stamp set is from what catalog, like you could just have the one type of washi for the current annual catalog or just all the blues, anything that's blue is the annual catalog. Um, anything that's pink is the next catalog or, you know, maybe use washi from the next catalog cause there's always washi the next one. Um, so that would be a great way of labeling your stamp sets. You use washi for the stamp sets? Yeah, I reckon it's a cool idea. So yeah, there's a lot of really amazing things. Yep, wrapping pens and pencils. That's a really nice idea because I got a, car, a pencil and it had DSP in the middle. But just wrapping the pen with washi, that's an excellent idea, Nori. Anything with washi is a stamp set I haven't linked, inked up yet. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 
You can use it on the album, yes, perfect for our memories and more, like so good for all of that. Great for journaling, you can write on washi, that's a really cool thing. Um, even if you use it just for masking, like if there's certain areas of your stamp that you don't want to stamp, I cover it with washi tape and then stamp and then remove the washi tape and then you have like a totally different stamp if you want to remove a little bit of the sentiment or something. So many ideas. Washi is the best. Have we proved a point? Have we proved washi is the best? Yes, we've proved it. <laughs> get washi. Go on my online store now and get washi. So this was a beautiful card that I received from Claire Langsford, who is actually my business development manager in Stamping Up. She gives me calls uh, every fortnight or every two weeks, because I know some of you don't use the term fortnight. Um, and she helps me so much with my Stamping Up business. Those phone calls are just such a great way for me to have accountability and to set goals. Sorry, Giselle, I can't talk to you anymore. <laughs> you have to get into washi. It's so good. Once you start, you'll get addicted. You'll be like, I want to washi everything. <laughs> In fact, I'll washi my, my, um, the back of my phone. How cool will that look? Do a washi background in the <laughs> on your phone. So yes, I was very appreciative to receive this cute little note card that um, Claire has made and just saying that she wishes me a bright and beautiful day. So it's just another random act of kindness or make a card, send a card. And these type of cards are so special because you're sort of like, oh, I wonder what this is for. And then when you open it, you go, oh, it's just to make me happy. Oh, that's so nice. It really does make you happy because you just think, how kind that someone's thought of me. Uh, I had someone win a, a prize from me. It was, um, I think it was the alphabet dies the thinlets and the stamp set it was a pretty big prize but it was very very sweet because Joan actually sent me a card saying thank you so much for my prize so I was very happy to hear from Joan and that she was happy to win that you don't sort of expect a thank you for um for prizes you go oh I'm glad that you enjoyed it <laughs> thank you for that uh this one was from Tori and this is from Canada, this one. I wonder if you can tell by that beautiful maple. <laughs> so she's done a beautiful job. Who would have ever thought of putting lemon lime twist and bronze together? Amazing what you can put together. So well done, Tori. And it's a beautiful... Everyone wrote beautiful things on the inside. Thank you so much. I'm such a words person. I love kind words and nice thoughts. So I really appreciate it. And look, I know some people aren't into writing a whole lot. And that's totally fine too. Don't get hung up on what you're going to say. If you find it difficult to write things down, just say, thinking of you. Please be happy. You can even Google ideas. I think some people Google things to write inside cards. Um... And you can get lots of ideas. I think some even write little poems, like little quotes and things like that. So there's a lot of ideas of what you can put on the inside of the card. This one was from Pam Oliver. I love how she's used that designer series paper. Hashtag love it. Chop it. Chop that paper. How are you all going with your chopping with the new paper? I have been doing a lot of chopping because I did the... Um, paper shares. Oh, you're here, Tori. Thank you. Yes, I love it. I really love it. It's amazing. And just such a cool idea, putting those colours together. So thank you very much. Uh, yes, yeah, so definitely love it. Chop it. Get that paper. Find out how you're going to make the most of it. For me, it's by cutting it into the card fronts. And I found that a lot easier. I used to do it six by six, but I found... I didn't use it as well because I had like this strip of extra left over when I wanted a card front. So by doing a card front, I'm getting sort of six, is it six per sheet? Yeah, six card fronts per sheet of paper. And then I can sort of cut it up and do it. Good on you, Sarah. She chopped up her naturally eclectic today. Yeah, it, I don't know why it hurts us. It's like we, we think we're offending the paper. But you've just got to tell yourself, I'm offending the paper if I don't use it. And if I use it and I chop it, I'm allowed to buy more. I have been given permission to buy another pack. So I usually have a pack that's still there that helps me to get over chopping the other packs. So just buy two packs at a time, 
chop one straight away and then when you've used it you can chop the next one and buy the next pack so that's a really great way of doing it and just getting over our issues our chopping paper issues who would have thought that was an issue but it really is it's a real issue the more demonstrators I speak to about it the more I realize we have a serious problem with chopping our paper <laughs> so love it chop it go and chop it <laughs> yes you're gonna buy another pack for the one yes and that's all you need to do and then when you do that it's like you've just released yourself of any fear like that I've chopped it wrong or I'm not gonna use it well enough or I don't know what our fears are but we all have different things it's just identifying what your particular issue is someone said they were scared they were going to run out um, someone was worried that they wouldn't chop it in the right place but the paper is so amazing it really doesn't matter how you cut it up um, just cut into it and then you'll find that you use it a lot more than if it, if you don't cut it you're not going to use it so definitely chop it get it and chop it <laughs> so the other one is from Beatrice and Beatrice Barber is from France and she made this gorgeous one here and I love how it's got this sort of cut the the cut there and then the sentiment along the side I thought that was a really clever and a bit of a different idea too yeah I only know these things Carol because I had the exact same problem and I had to identify what my issue was and help myself get over it and then I realized hang on a second I don't think I'm alone I think there's a lot of people that have this issue of hoarding paper Bruno kept saying to me you're like literally one more pack away from an episode of hoarders and this room is going to become a fire hazard if you collect any more paper so it's like what what good is a stack this high of paper that's not getting used so you can make some beautiful one pack of paper if you cut it for a card front you get 72 cards from one pack of paper. It's really affordable, easy, and it looks amazing. It looks really good when you do the cards. In fact, did we start? Yes, we did start our next one. And we haven't put the sentiment on yet, but you'll get the idea. But look at these here. This is literally just using the Oh So Lovely paper. 72 cards this is going to make and we just used every bit of paper and it's going to be my customer cards and some random act of kindness cards look at that paper it's like it just does everything for you it's done all the work for you and all we're going to do is just add a really cool sentiment on the front I think we've got the sentiment here Jesse and I were very busy with these last week we designed them all and this is all I'm going to put on the front, like this. Oops, I don't want to drop the random act of kindness ones. But yeah, we're just going to put this on the front, and that is it. Like, just let the um, let the paper shine. Like, let it stand out. So that will just be on a dimensional, and it's the um, stitch shape framelit, and that's it. How easy is that? And it was so quick, and we've got so many cards, and there's like a whole stack in there too. And that's just using that stunning, stunning, stunning paper. Look at all that. Amazing. So do it. It's a lot of fun. And once you've done it once, and I think it's just nice being able to finish the whole pack all in one go. And then you can have them here. You could have them sitting there just like this with no sentiment on the front. And then as things come up, because, you know, friends, things happen with friends. Like this could be wedding they could be anniversary, they could be thank you for, you know, your gift, they could be anything that you want them to be, just keep them blank and then you can add your sentiment when something comes up. A friend might come around and go, hey, do you have a card? You know, friends, you know, events coming up, you know, do you have something that we can use? Yeah, sure, I'll just stamp a sentiment and stick this on and you can take this card. And it's like so easy. The measurements are so simple, Sarah. I actually do need to do a Pinterest thing for it. But are you um, American measurements? Are you inches or, or metric? Because if you know the measurements of your normal card, in America you just take a quarter of an inch off, and in Australia you take 0.5 of a centimetre off the size of your card front. That's how easy it is. So what, what's the American measurement again? I always get it mixed up. I think that's it there. That's the narrow one. But if you did four by... 
four by five inches or in Australia it's 10 centimeters by yeah four by four four and a yeah that's it five and a quarter yeah that's it quarter of an inch sorry I should say yeah so you just take that off and in Australia it's 10 centimeters by 14.4 centimeters because our normal card size card front is just 10.5 by 14.8 so you just take off take off 0.5 on both sides and then you just get these beautiful easy simple amazing card fronts and if you really wanted to do something a little bit different like this card here where you just have the half half this one's stunning you could put a strip of of DSP there but if you cut up your card fronts they're ready to go so you would just be cutting like one strip of it and then sticking it down because it's ready to go so yeah just do a whole stack of your DSP get it ready to go and use it love it chop it and when you use it and you post a card make sure you put the hashtag love it chop it because then it connects all of us together so this one's a stunning one how beautiful is this and it's in my favorite color too Bermuda Bay, but I love seeing it with this amazing, is it crushed curry do you think? I'm thinking it's crushed curry, but this was from Marie Hook and she just said that she um, really appreciates all the um, goodies that I've given her, she's a customer and a team member of mine, so I've really looked after my customers and my team members and it's just really rewarding when you know they're that happy that they're sending you a card, it's like oh my goodness thank you so much. <laughs> You really appreciate it when when um, you know they're happy because that's that means my job's going well that's my job keep everyone happy and I think there's a the bling aren't they amazing those faceted gems I'm like in love with them so she's done a beautiful job thank you Marie for my random act of kindness card and then there was just this one here as well and this is using one of my favorite stamp sets this one uh, so this was from Megan, and she said, Mr. and Mrs. Batucci. I love it, Mr. and Mrs. Batucci. So this is M Megan Jenkins, and Megan is here in Australia. She's in Queensland. Actually, no, Marie, that was Marie that was Queensland. Megan is in Tassie. So I just wanted to say hello. Very good job. Love it, Megan. So they're all my random act of kindness cards for the last couple of weeks. So I have a lot of posting to do. I might jump on the random act of kindness and just thank everyone as well. Um, because yes, it's a lot of a lot of work to sort of make sure that I say thank you to everyone. And I'm sorry for the delay. Um, I know that it, it takes a lot of work and a lot of effort. And it's your heart that you're putting out when you send a card. So it's really nice. Oh, there's Megan. Hey, Megan. So it's really nice when someone can appreciate what you've sent them. Um, but I also know that things happen to people and on the Random Act of Kindness group, not everyone gets to thank everyone all the time. Um, we live busy lives and you actually have to be quite organized to know who you've said thank you to and who you haven't. Um, so please don't get despondent if you're on the Random Act of Kindness group and you don't get a thank you. Um, I think it's really nice to just send it and not expect anything and then you won't be disappointed. Um, it's just a nice way to say, oh, well, I'm sure I put a smile on their face. Um, but yeah, life does get busy. Yeah, we, we get there in the end. That's it. Yeah. And I know with me, it's like things have like two weddings in one week and it's just crazy what happens in life. So yeah, you just do your best. But I know for me, this is what I do all the time every day. I don't have another job. Um, so I'm very fortunate that I have the time to be able to do these things and say thank you. But not everyone's in the same position. So just be patient. I'm sure they'll thank you eventually. And if they don't, all good. All fine. Just send it to someone else. Send it to another person. <laughs> Can you send a card? Yeah, absolutely, Sarah. You don't need a blog to take part in the Random Act of Kindness group. I'll put up the link. Sarah Fleming, who's here with us today, she's been commenting a couple of times. She's running the... Random Act of Kindness group and doing an amazing job. We've got a great team of ad admins as well that put a lot of work in and making sure that it runs smoothly and that everyone's happy and we're spreading the love. Yeah, I love the RAC group too. And it's interesting, Donna, because when you first started, I think Donna was kind of like, what? How does this work? Like if I send a card, how do I know I'm going to get one? And it's interesting how 
just by giving and not expecting, it actually saves a whole lot of time because if we had to organize who was sending who something, it all becomes very organized. There's a lot of work involved in doing that. Um, thank you, Sarah. Thanks for putting up the link. Please go, go and have a look. But it's just amazing how the more love you, you send, it definitely comes back to you. Maybe not even with a card returning, but just something that happens in your life. I think if you spread positivity, things come back to you in a positive way. And you just feel good. It's just nice to not think about what's happening in your life for a moment in time. And just think about someone else and how it's going to make them feel when they receive that card. Because no matter what, any person who receives that card is just going to feel so much joy. So, your confidence is growing. Yeah, I've heard that. A lot of people are like, I think we're quite insecure with our creativity. And we, yeah, we sort of hold back. I had to work through through that as well when I started blogging a bit more. I was very scared of the judgment. I was scared I was not good enough with my designs. Um, but it's amazing how when you start using something more, how you do grow in confidence and you you do naturally improve too. Yes, lots of inspiration. It's very true. I'm very happy I pushed you over the fence, Deborah. I was like, get in there. Come on, Deborah. You can do it. <laughs> yeah, it's a beautiful group and, a, and no pressure. If you want to send 10 cards, you send 10 cards. If you only have time for one card... You send one card. It just suits our lifestyle this, these days. Life is so hectic and so busy, so it's just nice to just once a month think of someone else. Um, I know for me, I just sort of do bits and pieces here and there. I don't do them all in one lot. But when I think of someone, I just you know send out a random act of kindness card, and it just makes you feel so happy. So, And then we have to buy new things because we have a reason to buy things. <laughs> We're like... I need this because I need to send my random act of kindness cards this week. I need all this new stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's a very special group. So if you're not in that group, please jump in and come and join us. Now, I'm going to flip you around. We're going to make a card together today. I'm doing a partial because there's a bit of embossing and I didn't want to keep you too long. I know everyone's busy. So this is the Thailand swaps. Can you believe it? How long till we go? I don't have my my thing here, but we leave on the 9th of July. How long is it till the 9th of July? Can anyone ask Siri on their phone? <laughs> I think it's like, how many days does June have? 30 days has a term of 30 days for June. So it's only three, it's like 12 days. Oh my goodness. So 12 days we're going to Thailand. I've got so much to do before then. Yay, crafting with Kylie. <laughs> Night of Navy. Oh, that's interesting you say that, Deb, because, um, Yes, 13 days, Sarah. Oh my goodness, there's so much to do before then. Yes, 12, 12 days probably for us. Although, no, it's still 13 for us. Yeah. So, or Jenny's saying 12. Oh, don't say 12, Jenny. <laughs> so this is the card I made for the Thailand swaps. You probably saw it. And I felt that it really had that sort of tropical... Um, you know, that vibe that Thailand, because we've been to Thailand before and we absolutely loved it. And the burlap background really gave me that feel of, you know, that tropical, um, yeah, it just sort of the wicker type thing. Um, even the colours, I thought the, the crumb cake is very much um, all the sort of, you know, beach huts and things like that we, we saw and um, very nat natural and rustic, that type of feel. So that's what I went for. I thought I want to have something that sort of reminds me of Thailand um, as I'm making them so I can feel like I'm being transported. Is that true, Lynette? I'm so happy to hear that. Sorry for being an enabler. <laughs> yeah, like a hammock. Yeah, it's kind of like a hammock and, yeah, rustic beach feel, um, like the sand and like a lot of the things when you go to Thailand, it's all very natural and... Yeah, very much so. But they've got the beautiful, beautiful flowers and things like that. Um, the wedding went great. Thank you, Donna. We had a great time. I've got a bit of a husky voice and swollen feet today, so we danced the night away. It's interesting you say um, that the burlap is nice with embossing. So I tried two different versions today that I was going to do for the card. I'm just trying to look for the other version. Where is it? It's covered. The random act of kindness cards have probably covered it. But anyway, I'll find it in a moment. But I did this one 
So this is with the burlap embossed in the background. So I just want to give you an idea of how this card can look completely different done with a different color and a different technique. So that's that one. And then the other one, where have I put it? Oh, no, did I do it? I'm sure I finished it. Don't you love my craft room? Seriously, I'm like, it's gotta be here. And there's like a mountain of swatch books. <laughs> On the desk I'm like anyway we'll, we will find it I'm sure we'll find the other one that I tried because I found that the I, I thought oh maybe it's a bit intense with the um oh no actually this is an embossing sorry this one was the embossing one sorry that was the embossing one this is actually just the um oh thank you you like my new skirt I've got a new dress for Saturday too I'm excited about it. I put it on do not disturb but the only person that's allowed to disturb me is Bruno because he told me I need to be able to contact you. And he just called me. <laughs> so, yes, this is the stamping on the white with the Knight of Navy. So I was really happy with that, but that's the other way around. If you do the embossing and then you could put that on top. And it's right what Sarah said, the, the embossing is so detailed so there's two sort of versions, but I love it with the Knight of Navy. I think it looks amazing. And you could even do like the Knight of Navy like over the top with the crumb cake in the background. That would be a really nice effect as well. So lots of different ideas with this card. I really enjoy the sponging of the flowers. I think that just really makes them pop. So that's another way of, of doing that as well. So let's turn you around. Yeah, I know it's either way. It's like it both looks good. So I'm just going to turn you around and we'll do the crumb cake one together. And any of my customers that order from now until the end of June receive this amazing card as one of my ways of saying thank you for your order. And it's just a special that I'm doing for the end of June um, because, yeah, it's an exciting time. So I think I've already got about 12 cards that I'm doing extra now. So I've given myself a bit of extra work because, you know, I really need some extra work. But if you want to place an order with me, you live in Australia, then this is what you will get. If you order with me today or the next three days, you will get one of these beautiful cards sent to you from me, handmade. Oh. So let's turn this around. So the card that I'm making right now with you now, someone's going to receive that when they place an order. So let's flip you over. I'll just cover this one up so you don't see my face right in the camera. So let's see here. Thank you all for coming today too. It means so much to me having you all here. It's awesome. The more fun we have live, the better. But I know a lot of a lot of people watch the recording too, so yes, they are very lucky. <laughs> they get looked after my customers. So let's see how we go here. Flip. Ta -da! Oh, it's a bit wonky today. Let's bring this down. I'm still getting used to my new um my new, I forget what it's called, Archon arm. It's a little bit different, like it's sturdy, but it's definitely a lot different to what I'm used to with the other one. Okay, and I'll turn on the light so that you don't get too much shading. Hopefully that will look good. There we go, does that look good everyone? Got my coffee beans and my tea leaves. So let's have a look here. So these are the two stamp sets that I used. The burlap. Oh, you're cute, Megan. I love you guys too. I'd be nothing without all my lovely customers. Megan's one of my beautiful customers. She wrote me the best little um, review on my page. I was like, oh, Bruno, let me read this to you. I was so thrilled. I love it when I know my customers are happy. Now, I'm just going to flip you around again because everything will be back to front otherwise. There we go. Oh. I love that. I have so much to be grateful for. I think it's Holly that showed me that one, didn't you, Holly? Holly Paplow. She showed me the flipping, reversing camera. 
So let's have a look. We'll bring this out. Now, I have a tip with background. I think if you've seen my videos before, you'll know this tip. But if not, hopefully you learned something new today. So here's our burlap. And I've got the crumb cake. Now, I'm going to do something different today. Oh, you're cute. And I'm going to a nana nap time for you. Oh, thanks, Deborah. You enjoy that nana nap. I might join you after I finish this. I'll go have a nana nap. No, I've got too much to do. <laughs> so so I, um, I will have the measurements on my blog tonight. So please look out for that. I'll put my link to my blog and you'll be able to download the measurements. We had the wonderful Tammy White do a talk for um for all the demonstrators in AIM for Alaska today. And that was one of the tips that she said. So I thought I'll apply that and see how many of you come over and download the PDF. And I am going to do it in both inches and metric. Because, you know, I just want to be kind. And I know if I only do metric, you'll all be like, please tell us inches. <laughs> so I'll look after you all because you're all very faithful to me. You're all very good to me. So it's the least I can do to return the thank you. So please make sure you have a bone folder. Oh my goodness, they are the best. They are like the essential item. Okay, so that looks good. I always like to make sure that it's it's looking measured and happy. So what I do with my background stamp is I actually don't put it on a block. I just put it on the grid paper, which is another essential item. If you don't have grid paper, you can get this amazing background grid paper from Stamping Up. Yes. And just keep in mind, too, that um, the clear cases, the clear mount cases and the wood mount cases aren't in the catalogue, the new catalogue. However, they are available. So just remind yourself that you can still get those. Now, all I do, I get a, one of the, the blocks, the smaller box, or you can get a bigger block, and I just put it down where I want it. So just measure with your eyes and then I just rub with the clear block and I just find I have a much clearer image and a lot less stress and a lot less you know CPR work and then you just pull it off and there you go so that is my little tip for backgrounds then that will just go here and I glue that down I prefer Tombow because I work with a lot of um, small millimetres and I find, oh, you don't want that much glue. If you put too much, then you'll get warping. But if you find that you're just layering it out, like if you keep it really thin and fine, you'll find that it's all good. This is probably a bit too much. So don't copy what I did. <laughs> but I have never had any problems. Now, if you wanted to, you could sponge the edges as well, but I've just done this as is. And sponging the edge just gives it another look again. And then you're going to stamp. So I've got the um, prototype already done. As I said, I'm just doing it half today. But I just embossed this hello. So you can see it there. Then I use the sponge dauber to sponge with the crumb cake. So very simple. You will need, with the hello, you will need to line it up. You might need to use the stamper majig or even the grid paper can help you to line it up. I just make sure that it's lined up very well on the, the actual block itself and then stamp with that and just sponge in the, the hello. And so I use, of course, Bruno's favourite item in the catalogue. And we'll, should we do it Bruno style? <laughs> I always crack up when I do Bruno dimensional style. So we'll do my dimensional style first and then we'll do Bruno's because <laughs> it, it always makes me laugh. So I'd probably do this. Maybe, I maybe might do this. So that would be like a max for me, I reckon. And that's probably even going a little bit. I probably would leave those. But if we're being Bruno today, we would need one there. And we would definitely need one there. And would we need some in these spots, Bruno? I think he would probably go here too and here too. And he would more than likely go here too because he's an architect and he would need to make sure that everything is completely balanced. So hopefully this is enough for Bruno. Oh, no, he'd probably put one there too, actually, and maybe one there too. 
That's a Bruno dimension. Oh, no, now this side's actually, yeah. This would be definitely Bruno card. Ah, oh, he must have known I was talking about him. Bruno, is this your dimensionals? <laughs> Is that good? Is that good? Do I pass? Is that good, Bruno? I think that would definitely be. It, Jesse will definitely agree with this because Jesse has seen the way you use my dimensionals and I definitely think that this is how you would do it because everything needs to be balanced. No more. <laughs> Carrie's dying. Yes, there's still gaps. Yes, I know. <laughs> Do you know how much fun it is using that many dimensionals? Oh, it feels so good. He does need dimensional sheets. But as we always say, Amanda, Bruno helps me get to our trips. That's how I get to the trips every year. It's not because of my talent. It's because Bruno, like, basically gets our trips using his dimensionals. <laughs> we have about 10 packets, Megan. <laughs> <laughs> we have so many. Uh, I think I've got them all. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Bruno dimensional that. Sorry, I got another call. It must have been another favorite. Oh, yes, my brother is in my favorites, actually. That's true. <laughs> what can't you handle, Bruno? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Maybe we can put a request in for dimensional sheets. No, Bruno is actually very good. I'm the bad one. Bruno puts all his dimensional backings in the bin and he usually says to me, now, here's an idea. When you use the dimensionals, why don't you put the backing right in the bin? Yeah, and he does it in that tone too, like really condescending. And then I want to, you know, just yell at him. But yeah, he's actually very good. He's much better than me. He's he's a tidy crafter. Ugh, who's got time for tidy crafting? What did Krista say? You must find the backings all over the house, yes. <laughs> but not because of Bruno. <laughs> so there you go. So that's my Thailand swap. And on the inside, because I always love decorating my inside. Yes, you too, Karen. So I did a stamping on the inside and I used um, the beautiful, is it Flirty Flowers? I think that's from. I'm pretty sure that's the stamp set. It's the, one of the new stamp sets with flowers. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that's the one. And I just thought it would be a nice addition because this is the first time Stampin' Up! was said to use a full card, which is kind of cool, something a little bit different. So we're doing the full card so I can dress up the inside and... I'll put the recipe and it'll go in a, a bag with all the ingredients that I used on my card. So you can see this one here is a little bit darker, the, the background. So on this one I did a stamp off and this one I did um, stamping directly because the crumb cake is quite strong. I love flirty flowers too. They're so beautiful. So yeah, so you could do either way and I like either way. But I did find that when I used the refill on my crumb cake that it it was a bit darker than usual. So you can just stamp the, the pad. So yeah, lots of different ideas with this card. You can see the potential to do lots of different ideas, lots of different colors. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you want the measurements, please head over to my, I'm doing this for you, Bruno. Are you happy? So please head over to my page, my blog. I'm just gonna flip you over. So I can chat to you again. Hang on, we need to go here, black you out, and flip you up. So who thinks that they'll head over to my blog and get the measurements? Do you think that's a good idea? It's craftykylie.com. Was that a nice tr smooth transition? That's, I'm getting a bit better at this, but I better not speak too soon because I'll be like, I'm so professional, and then I'll get it all wrong. So I'll lift you up. Hang on. Can you see up there? That's my blog. I'll do a little flippy flip. There we go. Can you see that? There you go. 
Thanks, Bruno. He got it from Typo. Craftykindly.com. So, yes, it will be up probably, I'm hoping, before 6 o'clock tonight. So, in the next couple of hours. It's the next thing I'm going to do as soon as I finish this. Good. I'm excited. Thank you very much, Tammy White, for that tip. So, it won't have instructions. It's just going to have the measurements. So, if you need instructions, you just come and watch this video again. And you're more than welcome to share it with your teams, your customers, your friends, whoever you like. Tell them to start at a certain time if you don't want to see all the random act of kindness cards. <laughs> now we are finishing the last tutorial bundle. It's the last one, last one for all the subscribers, but there will be another one. So please keep an eye out for that. Um, I will be having links and things like that for you to be able to sign up for the next subscription. Um, sadly, I won't be part of the next one. Uh, Bruno and I have a little adventure coming up that we will tell you more about as soon as we can. There's always something exciting happening around here. Uh, so I will have more details about that. However, um, this month or the next month, um, July, it will come out the 1st of July, so in three days. And then we have a blog hop together next week at the beginning of July. Sorry, I've just dropped something here. So just to give you a little sneaky peeky, I'm just going to do this. Ooh, ooh. So that's a really cool one. And this is for my blog hop. I know, I'm like a week ahead. Don't get used to this, Kylie. This Kylie is not normal. So there's my other sneaky peeky. Yee. So yes, there's some exciting things coming up on my blog and the tutorial bundle and it'll be the last one. So please, please, please support this last bundle for our team because the team will change after this, this, um, this round. So, and was there anything else I had exciting coming up? Oh yes, the international highlight winners. We announced the winners. Uh, I had an amazing gallery and everyone did a baby card or a baby project and it went amazing. Thank you for all of those that voted. We got our top 10 winners and they will be hopping together next week as well. So we have a busy early July. July is looking pretty, pretty full on. And then we also have um, the international highlights. So any demonstrator, if we have demonstrators watching today, this is your invite to come and join in the international highlights. It's a really cool different way of highlighting your work and getting to know other demonstrators and it all gets hosted on my blog. So all of my traffic that I've worked um, probably the last eight years, I've worked very hard to get a, a nice following on my blog. So all of that traffic can go to you. So particularly if you're a new demonstrator and you're thinking, how do I get my name out there? How can I show people my creativity? This is such a great platform to not only get to know other people and to share your creativity, but also to grow your audience and to have new people on your blog that you may not have had before. So that will be on the 12th of July. And it's going to be, the theme for this one is inspired by Thailand and it's gratitude inspired by Thailand because Bruno and I will be on the incentive trip when that post goes live, when that gallery is launched. So it's really exciting. And then we have a Thailand blog hop um, in July and you do not want to miss that hop because that hop is going to be all about the amazing things that all of us demonstrators did on that incentive trip and just the things that we loved and what we enjoyed. So uh, that is going to be an awesome hop. I always love, that's my favorite hop of the year is all our pictures of what we did and who we saw and who we met and the things that we did. Um, it's just incredible what Stampin' Up! do for us. So next year's Alaska. Any guesses what the next one after that is gonna be? What, what do you think the 2019 incentive trip might be? Anyone got any clues? I would absolutely, absolutely love Japan. Like, oh, Japan would be amazing. But you know, I'm happy to take any free trip, really. I'm not picky. <laughs> so that'll be great. So we head off on the 9th. There'll still be lots to show you on my blog. It doesn't mean I won't be blogging. If anything, you'll probably see me a little bit more and probably some more live videos as well. Just. Um, amazing demonstrators that I'm, I'm going to get to meet and yeah lots of photos and things and adventures that Bruno and I are getting up to so thank you all very much for your support today thank you for being here 
and if you have any questions for me or if you want to tell me anything please let me know yeah I'm a bit of an oversharer Deborah not everyone appreciates it but you know I love to share these things I like people to live through us vicariously and feel like they're on holidays with us you can pretend get it get a cocktail and just sit down and watch my pictures and pretend you're like on the beach with me We're hanging out with Bruno and I <laughs> we love that and of course my crazy crafters team we always have the highlights for them every Friday Australian Standard Time so yeah always jump over on my blog and vote for my beautiful team because they're the bomb love them so much and so you won't see me next week is next week oh yes you will you will see me next week sorry a lot happening so you will see me next week next Tuesday is the fourth so that will be the last one organized and then after that I'll probably just be doing like yeah random videos here and there and yes free trips yes <laughs> so look out for that next week I'd say it'll be at 1 30 Australian Standard Time so the same time as today but I will put up all the times and dates for you to come and join in and please share please share these videos please share my page if there's something that you think your team or your customers will enjoy watching and for all my lovely customers thank you so much for an amazing month this month has almost been my highest sales yet I'm like so close to the highest sales I've ever had and it's only because of all of you supporting Bruno and I we've had 10 join me personally in the full team I think we've had about 12 or 13 join the crazy crafters team but 10 amazing new customers have decided to join with me some of them weren't customers before they found me online so thank you so much because all of you are going to rock it you're going to love being part of the crazy crafters team and there's a lot of fun and a lot of training I push my girls to learn a lot of new things that they never thought they would learn before so it's wonderful to have you. Thanks for sharing, Nori. I see you shared my video. Thank you. So yes, feel free to share. And if you are looking at joining, if you live in Australia, please let me know. I'm happy to help you with any questions that you have. Uh, and if you haven't ordered with me before, please look at ordering. Um, I've got a lot of support, VIP groups, um, customer cards like you saw today. You'll get this beautiful card if you order with me. And you also get um, a lot of extra little gifts and prizes and lots of other things from me because I love doing that. I love getting gifts and rewards. So, so should you for choosing me. So thank you, Deborah. Thank you for supporting me. It, it wouldn't be fun without having all of you here watching me and have a lovely day. I hope you get to craft this week. Please tag me if there's anything that I've um, inspired you in or helped you to design or if you'd love it, chop it. Please let me know. Tag me as well. Um, I love seeing all of your designs and sharing in your happiness of creativity too. So have a wonderful day. See you next week, everyone. Mwah! Thanks, Carol. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.